As more states are lifting stay-at-home orders, people are starting to think about future travel plans. Atlanta's airport never closed, but not many people were traveling. We talked to some people who have recently traveled who say the experience was a little unnerving. 11 Live's Caitlin Ross explains. 11 Live executive producer Erin Peterson documented her entire trip through Hartsfield-Jackson May 2nd. I personally didn't feel unsafe. I couldn't stop thinking about how eerie it was, though. She says as soon as she pulled up to the airport, she knew traveling would look a lot different. It's the middle of the world's busiest airport, and you could hear a pin drop. She flew to Chicago and back on Delta in one day after her grandfather passed away. Everybody felt somber. You know, I was on my way to a funeral, but it felt like I was at a funeral. And, you know, maybe we were for the airlines because I don't know how they survived this. Air travel is down 95% at Hartsfield-Jackson Airport. Business experts say the survival of airlines will mainly depend on whether or not passengers feel safe on board. 11 Alive got a call from a flyer who says when she flew this week, she absolutely did not. I didn't pay extra to choose a spot because I barely <laughs> could pay for the ticket anyways. She was flying from Hartsfield-Jackson to Charleston, South Carolina on American Airlines, and she says she was assigned a middle seat with people on both sides of her. I felt like they didn't care about me. In a statement, American Airlines told us they're only booking their flights to 50% capacity and only use the middle seat when necessary. This caller says she wasn't the only passenger assigned a middle seat, though, and felt so unsafe she wouldn't board the plane home. I drove back home. I was not getting on another plane. But Erin says she felt safer on board than she does in her everyday interactions. I am more concerned about how people interact at the grocery store than I am about how it felt on the airplane. Now inside the airport, you can really tell that things look different. They have those marks on the ground telling people exactly where to stand. They're only taking a certain number of customers at a certain time. So this is really going to look different as people readjust to traveling again. Caitlin, I'm curious, for so long the airport was pretty much empty. What's it look like there today? Are there more people, parking decks fuller? There was no traffic driving into the airport. If you look behind me here, you can tell there's no one checking in. You can get a parking spot right up front. You're not fighting anybody for space. So there really are fewer passengers traveling right now. So if you do have to board a plane, you're going to be pretty much alone.